perspective now on Secretary Shinseki's resignation from a law lawmaker who's very much involved in veterans issues. Senator Bernie Sanders is the chairman of the Veterans Affairs Committee in the Senate. He's joining us from Burlington, uh, Vermont. Uh, I know, Senator, correct me if I'm wrong, you were reluctant to formally call on Secretary Shinseki to resign. What's your reaction to what has happened today? I'm saddened. Uh, in Eric Shinseki, you have a true American hero. And that's not just the Purple Hearts that he won in battle or his role as Army Chief of Staff. This is a guy back in 2003 that did something unprecedented in modern history. He told Don Rumsfeld, Secretary of Defense at that time, in his rush to war that occupying Iraq would not be all that easy. You would need more troops. So this is a guy who has an enormous amount of guts. He's a well-respected military leader. So I am saddened by his loss. I think also, I think he does not get the credit that he deserves. Uh, Wolf, when he came into office in 2009, do you know how the VA was processing claims? They were processing them by paper, if you can believe it. He had to transform that whole system into an electronic one, and right now they have cut waiting lists in half, and they're on their way to almost end waiting lists in the next year. That is no insignificant accomplishment, nor is dealing with the horrendous nightmare of veterans' homelessness, which has been reduced by 24 percent since he has been in office. So he has done some good things. I think in many ways he was betrayed by people, as he indicated, who were not honest to him. Clearly right now, short term, we've got to make sure that every veteran on a waiting list gets health care as quickly as possible. Uh, we've got legislation that's coming up this week that I think can facilitate that getting people into private care, into community health centers, into DOD facilities, Indian Health Service, longer term. Not only do we have to bring accountability into the VA and end this reprehensible behavior that we have seen, we have got to make sure that in every part of this country we have the doctors and the nurses that we in fact need so that you don't need long waiting periods for our veterans. Did the uh, president do the right thing in accepting his resignation? I would have preferred otherwise, to be honest with you. I think this guy is a very gutsy guy uh, who I think wanted the opportunity to clean house and make the changes uh, that he now understood uh, was necessary. But I can understand, you know, one of the things that's going on, and I hope we can end this. There is a lot of politicalization going on right now. Uh, the Koch brothers and Republicans are running ads all over this country on this issue. I think that that's unfortunate. I would hope that everybody can focus on how do we make sure that every veteran in this country gets the quality health care that he or she needs and does it in a timely manner. And the other point that I would make, and this doesn't come out enough, if you talk to veterans in Vermont and around the country, what most of them will tell you is that once they are in the system, Wolf, the quality of health care is good. The problem is access, accessing the system in a timely manner. But you know, it wasn't just the Koch brothers, Republicans, at least a dozen of your Senate the Democratic colleagues in the past 48 hours said it's time for him to go. Yes, I, I am more than aware of that. I disagree, but, you know, some of them are responding to ads that are on television, and some of them feel that way, and I understand that. I just uh, don't agree. But be that as it may, my job now as chairman of the committee is to work with the committee and the Senate uh, to make sure that we introduce legislation that we work with the new VA leadership to provide the best quality health care to all our veterans uh, in a timely manner. I know the Department of Veterans Affairs does uh, wonderful things out there, but you have really studied this. You've been on top of this. You're the chairman of the committee. How shocking, how surprise, surprising has it been to you, Senator, to see these, these inspector general reports, these internal audits suggesting that there is really some bad things going on and maybe maybe even criminal activity. And here's the question. Should the Justice Department, the FBI, launch a formal criminal investigation? The answer, absolutely. I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, and I don't think I am, uh, the Justice Department is already involved in this. Uh, if people have committed criminal acts, they should be punished. No and maybes. But I want to reiterate one point here. At the end of the day, we are serving in the VA six and a half million veterans. This is a life and death issue to them. Our moral obligation is to make sure that we have the staffing and the accountability all over this country 
because after the media walks away, you're still going to have 230,000 veterans walking into VA facilities every single day. They deserve the best quality care that we can provide to them. Senator Sanders, uh, thanks for coming in. Thank you, Wolf.